Hello, everybody, and welcome to the beginning of this video. Not to be confused with the end of this video, because that will come after I'm done doing the middle part of this video. So I know that was all really heavy and confusing for everybody, but shit, you know what? Like, that's what we're here for, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So um, I have a couple notes that I would like to hit, like the notes of a fine wine on the palate. Um, as you can see, I've had coffee this morning, so things things are already looking up. Up a skirt? No, that's silly, you pervert. Okay, let's get cereal here for a minute, okay? So, first off, um, I want everyone to know that, like, if you go over to my website, IHateMattWall.com, just written like it sounds, um, you can get a free ebook, which is um, all of the short stories and poems that I posted last year on my website in one book um, that you can flip through as you do, um, all cash like. Um, so if you go to my website, it's this annoying. Um, box that is like right at the top of the page um that's where you go to get your book and i hope you enjoy it and if you do um please let me know even if you don't enjoy it maybe send me a little message and let me know that too just just so i could get knocked down a few pegs um sometimes it's good to um not just get praise all the time get get a little bit like well you know Something like that. So second, um, I was asked the other day um, what version of The Stranger um, by Camus I have. Um, like what translation is it? Um, so I know there's a lot of people out there who are really big on certain translators and not big on other translators. Um, in fact, I think I remember I was talking to, um, Scott over at the Bookish Bryants about how he was reading, um, all the different translations of some book. I don't even remember what the book is, but like he was getting really in the weeds with the translations and that is very intriguing to me. So I might try to go down that road on a few books that I like um, and just see if I like them less with a different translator or like them more. So anyway, so this copy of The Stranger is um, translated from the French um, by Stuart Gilbert. Stuart Gilbert. That is who um, translated that little piece of um, literature um, but yeah so I have a book review for you shocker I know um, it is a book called the jokes over by Ralph Steadman and um, this book is actually well written and the reason why I say it like that, and there's little parts where the, it isn't, but I think it's not written well in those parts for a particular reason. But anyway, if you don't know, Ralph Steadman is a artist, um, illustrator extraordinaire, and he did some amazing Alice in Wonderland illustrations. He did um, this amazing uh, book on Freud um, and he's really weird and really out there, but most of you would probably know him from his, uh, Hunter S. Thompson, Gonzo Journalism stuff, everything from, uh, their first, uh, thing together, which was the review of the Kentucky Derby, um, all the way through, um, Hunter's death and um, 
his uh, suicide and his ridiculous uh, burial that he wanted to do, where he wanted his ashes to be shot out of a cannon and then have the um, urn explode, sending his ashes all over the valley. Um, so when I picked this up and I got this for free on Audible, and I don't know if it's still free on Audible, but um, I thought this book would be a book about Ralph Steadman and Ralph Steadman's life. And when I started the book and I realized that the book was going to be more about his interactions with Hunter, I um, was a little let down. Like, I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know more about um, his process, um, how he learned to illustrate, how he um, found his style, how he chose the medium he would use, and all this other stuff. That's what I wanted. And that's not what this book is. But the book is extremely interesting on the in the sense of and this is so funny that this is like the only like idea that can pop up into my head um you know a little while ago um that chick who could only write twilight books and when she tries to write other books they don't sell as well and so she wrote twilight from someone else's point of view um and then that book probably did better than the ones that weren't Twilight books, but not as good as the ones that were Twilight books. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like that because he goes over all of these things that if you've read a lot of Hunter S. Thompson, you will already know the stories of, but from his point of view, it is like shocking. It is hysterical. It's, um, it, uh, it just adds so much more. I almost, seriously, I almost enjoyed some of the, some of the stories better from his point of view, because, um, when you're reading Hunter S. Thompson, you're like in, you're in the, like the vortex of his mind. And so all you see is what he's throwing out at you. And with Hunter S. Thompson, you'll get just like crazed, drug-addled um, monologues of all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, you'll get like some beautiful lines about um, how far society's fallen and all this other stuff. But with Ralph Steadman, you get, I couldn't believe what was happening. Oh, my gosh. This, oh, I thought I was going to die. And um, you get almost like the normal person's perspective and then in each one of these stories, like, he starts off completely normal. And then the longer he's with Hunter, he, like, just starts slipping and slipping and slipping with booze and drugs and all this stuff until he doesn't recognize himself anymore. And then he has to, like, break away from him for a bit to, like, kind of um, convalesce and become a normal fucking person again. So there were all these like great bits, um, especially the Kentucky Derby thing. Cause if you've, the Kentucky Derby story is, um, so what's the word? Like for me, it's such a like seminal piece. And I think a lot of it too, is because this is their first meeting and in Hunter's piece, he talks about it being their first meeting and all this other stuff. And he paints Ralph Steadman in a certain way. And when Ralph tells his story, it is just fucking hysterical. Um, I really enjoyed that. And then when uh, some of the like later Gonzo Papers stuff, um, it was interesting because I feel like you don't get the sense of... Um, You don't get the sense of what was actually happening. You get the sense of what Hunter was thinking about the things that were happening. 
But when Ralph tells those stories, it is like, like batshit crazy bonkers. And um, another thing about this, I, I've never read um, The Curse of Lono. And um, that plays a really big part in this book. And um, Hunter's back and forth, like love and then disdain for the project and the bullshit they went through with the publisher and all this other stuff. So um, I'm going to be picking that up here pretty quick because um, this book will make you just want to read that book. But I actually want to find a copy of it because um, there are a lot of illustrations in it. And when and I don't know, um, I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this video. And if there's a bunch of artwork from this book, I'll put um, here so you can see it. I probably already have done it. Um, future me is like, dude, past me, you're such a dork. Look, I'm already fucking a step ahead of you here, so whatever. Um, so that's that. One of my favorite little anecdotes um, from the book is um, this great bit where um, Stedman wrote Hunter T S. Thompson a letter, like freaking out because his son um, got in trouble for smashing windows in London, like throwing bricks through um, storefront windows and stuff. And he asked Hunter, as um, another parent, what what should he do? He's like, at his wit's end, he doesn't know what to do. And Hunter writes him this amazing letter. It's, it's fucking hysterical. But he's like, Ralph, you draw cartoons of people eviscerating Margaret Thatcher. And you're worried that your son threw a brick through a window? Like, you should be glad that's the only thing he's doing with you as a role model. He could be out there gunning people down, chopping off people's heads. And he just goes on and on and on. And it, like, is so fucking true. Like, um, <laughs> Ralph Steadman was probably not a good role model when it comes to um, taking down the system and all this other stuff. And fighting the man. And then his son goes and fights the man and gets arrested. And Ralph's losing his shit over it. Um so I just, I loved that. Like, I thought that was so clever and so um, just fucking spot on for um, what that is. But um, when I started this book, I did not think I was going to recommend it. And I did not even know if I was going to get through it. But I am so fucking glad I did it. Um, the more I talk about it and the more I think back about it, the more um, parts of it stick out to me as so fucking good. So... Um, if you haven't, um, I mean, here, check this out. If you're a fan of Hunter S. Thompson and you um, have read a few of his things, this would be very interesting. If you are unfamiliar with Hunter S. Thompson, this might still be interesting just because of the characters involved. Um, they're so, like, out of control characters. And um, if you're an artist, you might like this. If you're into publishing, you might like this because it gives you like a behind the curtain on a lot of things. Um, and if you're into journalism, this might be interesting because it goes through the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s, all the way up into um, uh, George Bush um, Jr.'s um, second um, presidential win. So, um, if that doesn't, if that doesn't wet your whistle for what you're about to get, I don't know what will. Maybe a strong glass of water. So, with that said, the joke's over. Very good. Um, go over to IHateMattWall.com, get the free ebook. Um, it's called the IHateMattWall.com 2021 yearbook short stories and poems um it is a ridiculously long title for a book that's only about 200 pages um with a title like that the book should be at least a thousand pages but then stephen king had a book called it so um nothing i'm saying is working or making any sense so um 
Hugs and kisses to all of you. I hope you're all doing well. Go get the free ebook. Check this book out if you will. And um, I will see you guys later.